by significant investment in higher education. Why? Because you are giving people capabilities and abilities to be able to transform what they have in their own context. And you, you'll be surprised that there was a study actually released by Harvard uh, School which suggests that the more you increase <coughs> higher education, you are likely to increase the African GDP. And so, but let me go back to some fundamentals. It seems to me that as a theologian, it is critical that we take an ethical risk uh, because we have systems that are trying to let people where they are live in poverty. Uh, we have lived in a very, what we call a dependency syndrome, and I'm glad that Martha has alluded to that. So that's what I'm saying. Give people invest in higher education and give people the capability to inform what they have in their community. <coughs> now, several definitions of poverty. I mean, it also depends on how we define poverty. Now, I want to bring an element in as far as the definition of poverty is concerned because it seems to me that there have been a sense of creating what they call the deserving and undeserving poor. I mean, you have to see the way the politics of institutional, institution, donor institution operate. I'm from the Congo. We have, we are living in poverty. And there are several conditions that donor institutions are attached. They'll say, okay, you don't have good governance, you don't have so and so. But in reality, that creates a tension between, you know, some people who seem they are deserved poor and some others are undeserved poor. Undeserving poor. And again, as a theologian, I asked myself for so many years, I was told that blessed are the poor, you know, and I've lived in poverty. I, I don't believe that a poor man or woman is blessed. That that's, in fact, is a curse. Uh, now, going back to high education, I can say that several African governments have now put in place policies which are trying to help high education. And I want to give an example of the work that I do with uh, Kamina Brothers University. It's a very, I want to give a pragmatic example of a school which is located in the, a post office zone in 